Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alicia and I share beauty and lifestyle videos, so I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. But today, I'm going shopping in Nashville, and if y'all wanna follow along, then just keep watching. Welcome back to a, another vlog. I feel like I've been doing a lot of vlog style videos lately and it's funny because I went from where doing no vlogs for about six months to doing several within a month. But I'm so excited about today's vlog because I'm going to the Nordstrom sale again. If y'all have been following along for a while, last year I went and vlogged the whole thing. It was my first time, it was the first year I had shopped the sale in store last year. And this year, my friend Tabitha gets to go. So she didn't get to go last year and she was pretty bitter about it. Yeah, I was very bitter. It's not fun, they left me at home. But I'm so glad that she's getting to go this year because we haven't hung out in forever and I needed a good girl's day. So you get to follow along with our shenanigans today. So currently we are sitting in traffic. If you've ever been to Nashville or live in Nashville or close to it, you know the struggle. So we are, I think about 30 minutes. 14 minutes. Oh, 14 minutes normal from the mall but it'll probably take us a little bit longer probably about 30 minutes we're going to green hills mall if you're not familiar with nashville that's where the nordstrom is and i'm not gonna lie i ordered three things at 2 a.m this morning because those are the things that usually sell out and one of them they didn't have at this store and then i did in-store pickup for the other two things so hopefully It'll be ready in time, but we're gonna do lunch at Restoration Hardware, so hopefully it'll at least be ready after lunch and we can pick it up then. But we are almost there, so I will see y'all in Nordstrom. We made it. Tabitha, you ready to shop? Yes. might try this set on it is so super soft and the pants are just 35 and then the top is 32 but it is so soft and they have the little matching bra might try this on y'all look at the leopard jacket look how cute these are. Only $30 and so soft. Okay, so my hair looks awful because it came pouring down rain when I was trying to get my car earlier. So I waved it and it fell, but I wanted to show y'all this outfit. This is actually the only thing I found to try on. I don't know how I feel about it. It is super soft. It is a crop top, but then the pants are high-waisted. I do like this color. So, I don't know. Might need Tabitha's opinion. Okay, so there's actually not a whole lot this year. I feel like it was a little bigger. And there's only two sections, well, three if you count the designer, but I say that is, well, not I say, I know that is still too expensive for me. So this is like all the athleisure, and there was a few things from Sweaty Betty that I honestly hadn't heard about until I was looking to add stuff to my wish list. But they have some cute back shorts. So I'm going to look at those and then there's a few Nike items on sale too that I'm going to try and find. Oh, look how cute those shorts are. I love that color. They are the aloe yoga one. Let's see. 
They're on sale for $36.90 and then after the sale they're going to be $56. Those are really cute. Okay, so this is the print of backer shorts that I wanted. Leopard, of course, but I don't see those shorts, so I don't know if they have them. So I might have to order them. Okay, so this one isn't on sale, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a fall release. So, I'm going to go ahead and get it because I love those colors. So, if you like the Bare Real Mascara from Benefit, that's actually a really good deal. It's $35, you get two full size and a mini and that cute little bag. So, there's a bunch of little kits that are good deals. And then I'm gonna get this jumbo dry shampoo. It's not on sale, but this is my absolute favorite and it's a jumbo one, so it will last me a long time. Now the jewelry section. There are several key sunglasses and I think I see them. So I am in look. That pair. And then that one, but they might not look good on me. So oh I did like those too. I've been wanting those for so, I'm gonna be getting three pairs. We will see my favorite section. Perfect section. So, really like that, but even on sale, it's still 130 I think. So, I'm gonna pass on that because I have a pink hat. I really like. But I am gonna get this one because it's super cute. I think the lighter one is the one I was wanting, but I do really like that color. And then it also comes in black, but. I have plenty of black hats, so you can get this one. And it is on sale for $25, normally $40. If y'all watched last year's vlog, you know that I'm so excited to get a Barefoot Dreams. And look, there's only like, I think two left last year. They have so many and I ordered ahead because I figured they would be sold out. This is the one I ordered. So hopefully my order will be ready soon. It's a little bit more purple in person. I was hoping it was pink, but it's still cute. And they have like a, a dark blue, like a navy blue that's really cute. Like a green color. So I know they are expensive, but if you have been wanting to splurge, the sale is the time to get it. They're on sale for $117, normally $180. And this is the cheapest I sale is during the sale. And look, they have a pillow. No, I'm not gonna get it because that is still a little high. Pillow, but I was tempted, not gonna lie. And look, they had the dog sweaters last year. They had none, and they have all kinds. That's the color I got Daisy, and then I think I got copper, the black and white one. He would look adorable in that blue, but they don't ever wear them. So, well, I don't know. I kind of want to get that. And then they do have dog bed but I don't like that color that is another thing I ordered this morning it's like a pink color for Daisy and then copper has the gray one I got last year but yeah look at all the dog stuff this year so I am back home from Nashville obviously and I have to be honest with y'all like I always am it's a few days later which y'all could probably guess because I have different makeup and my hair looks a lot better, but I was editing the footage that I filmed that night and I just didn't like it. So I wanted to redo it. The lighting was bad and I had something stuck in my teeth and it was black right there up front and that's all I could stare at. And I also wasn't feeling good, so I shouldn't have even filmed. So now I'm feeling a lot better and I'm still learning my new camera lens and I completely forgot that I could adjust the brightness on my lens. So yeah, but I feel a lot better today and I think the video will be, or at least the ending will be a lot better. I meant to vlog more while we were in Nashville, but we had all these plans to go to Goodwill, go to Fiji, 
We didn't make it out of Green Hills Mall, but that is 100% okay with me because I love that mall and we had such a good day and I was also just kind of in the moment enjoying my time with Tabitha because I hadn't seen her in forever. So it was nice just to spend the day with her. I needed a girl's day and it was just really fun. Plus, we didn't get anything, I don't think... No, we didn't get anything at any other store. We just went in a couple and there wasn't really a whole lot. So we kind of just browsed the store and came back out. So I didn't figure that y'all wanted to see us just browsing normal stores. But I did want to show y'all what I got at Nordstrom. There wasn't really a whole lot. I wasn't impressed this year and I feel like the sections were a lot smaller. But then some things they didn't have a lot of last year, they did have a lot of this year. So I did get mainly accessories, I feel like. And this is the most I believe I've ever gotten accessory wise. And then I did place a in-store pickup order at 2 a.m. Friday morning because those were the main things I wanted. And I figured that they would sell out super fast and they didn't but I didn't want to chance it. So I will show you all those last. And then I did order the Barefoot Dreams dog bed and they did have to ship that. They didn't have it at the Green Hills Mall. And it is the cream color. It looks pink too, but I don't know if it is because it doesn't say blush or anything, but I got that one for Daisy because I got the gray one last year. So now they can have their own. If you're new here, I have two mini golden doodles, Daisy and Copper, and they are real life brother and sister just from different litters and they are so dang cute but now they will both have their own bed. But I'm gonna quit rambling and get to it. So this first thing I'm gonna show you, I did try on in store and I wasn't sure about it, but now I'm glad I got it. I think it is so cute. I love this color and it's really lightweight. So it's gonna be perfect for traveling or I hate to say this because I love summer. I hate when summer's over and I feel like everybody right now is all about fall, fall, fall. Now that the fourth is over, they're like summer's ending, time for fall. I'm like, no, it's still summer. I don't want summer to end, but this sale is kind of all about fall. I don't know. So I guess I should be talking about fall, but this will be a good transition piece into fall. And I wasn't going to get the pants, but I knew I would regret it if I didn't. And I like to have the option to wear it together, but these would also look really cute with high-waisted shorts or jeans. So I can wear this by itself or with the pants. And I wanted to go ahead and get the pants while they were on sale because it was a really good deal. And then that way, if I decide I don't like them, I can always return them. But the top was on sale for $31.90, normally $49. So I got two things from Beauty that were not on sale, but one was really pretty and I just wanted it. And the other is something I was out of and that is the Dry Bar Dry Shampoo. It is just the original Detox Dry Shampoo in the original scent but it is double the size. So this was $34 and I think the normal size is $23 and like I said not on sale but I was out and this is my absolute favorite dry shampoo. I know that's kind of pricey for dry shampoo but this is the only one that works for me that I have tried that I love so it's worth it to me and they now have the double size at Ulta too and it's the same price and then the other thing that was not on sale is this ambient lighting powder ambient lighting palette from Hourglass I saw this and I was super excited because I saw it it was part of the sale and then I saw that it wasn't on sale, so I guess it's just like a fall release. So it has a bronzer, blush, and a highlighter, but you could also use this as a setting powder if you want like a glowy setting powder. So this is perfect for traveling because you have all three and that blush is such a pretty pink. So this one is a little on the pricey side, but you do get the bronzer, blush, and highlight, and you can use it as a setting powder. So I feel like it's a good value and really pretty. So I actually was not impressed with 
the beauty products in the sale this year. So just keep an eye out for beauty stuff. It will have a sale price and then after sale. So it will have two prices if it's on sale. If it just has one, then it is probably just an early release since it is like showing fall stuff early, if that makes sense. So just keep an eye out for that. And that's why at first I thought this was on sale, but then I was like, wait a minute, it doesn't have two prices. So it is just an early release. I of course had to get a hat. I am obsessed with hats. And even though it's supposed to be like fall pieces, I feel like this is more of a summer hat, which I wear hats no matter what style they are year round. And this would still be a really cute fall hat, but I don't know. It just reminds me of like a summer hat. And then I don't know if y'all can see it has like a little tassel on the side that is really cute. And I wanted this in the lighter tan, but of course it sold out. I might still get it if it comes back in stock, but I do like this color too. It's a really good neutral that will go with a lot. I was also disappointed in the hat selection this year because there weren't a whole lot of hats on sale, but I see a lot of hats throughout the year that go on sale. I got most of my Brixton hats on sale at Nordstrom. I actually have a hat collection video. If y'all wanna see all the hats I have, I share where I get them and little tips on buying them and stuff like that. So I will link that video down below in the description box if y'all wanna watch that next. But this hat was on sale for $25.90 and it's normally $39 and it is Treasure and Bond. So really cute. I also got a pair of key sunglasses. There were actually several pairs that I wanted Luckily, I tried one pair on in store. They had it and I looked like one of the Beatles. It was not cute on me, but I loved these. I love the fade on the lens, but I just think they are so cute. Absolutely love them. I think they were on sale for 42 and they're normally 65 and if you end up shopping the sale and you don't like something, you can always return it because they have free shipping, free returns. So they are really good about that. And I wanted to give y'all a tip. If you see something that you absolutely have to have and it's a really good price that you don't think will get any lower after the sale, go ahead and grab it. Even if it's not your size, that way when it restocks, even if the sale is over, they will exchange it for your correct size. I have actually done that several times with shoes. They only had like a size five, but they exchanged it really easy with no question. And I actually had someone who worked for Nordstrom last year tell me to do that as well. So a little tip for y'all if you're wanting to shop the sale, which it opens to everyone on July 28th. So you can only shop it right now if you have a Nordstrom credit card, but then anybody and everybody on July 28th can shop it. And then the last accessory I got is this initial necklace. I think you say it Braca. And I didn't even realize until I was filming this the first time that with every Braca purchase, you partner with us in supporting the fight against human trafficking. So I think that is really cool. But I did want to show y'all my necklace that I'm wearing. So it is also an initial necklace. And it's kind of a dupe for this one. But they also have a Braca one that is circular like this and looks closer but is not part of the sale. I think it's normally or I think right now it's maybe $64 but Whitney Rife shared this dupe and I think it was like $16 or $17 on Amazon and it comes with both. I'll link everything that I share with y'all and talk about down below in the description box. And I will also link this necklace as well. Okay, so I wasn't going to get these, but my husband talked me into getting them. And they are Barefoot Dreams dog sweaters. How stinking cute. So I saw this one first. And copper is like a light brown coppery color. 
and I thought this color would look so good with his fur and then of course if I got copper one I had to get daisy one and I think this color is so cute I already tried it on them I will insert a picture here so y'all can see what they look like they are so dang cute but these are so soft and these are actually a really good deal they are on sale for 25 something I know $25 is kind of crazy for a dog sweater but being barefoot dreams that is a really good price so yes definitely look into these and this is what they had a lot of which I was surprised because they didn't have any dog sweaters last year so had to get them one and now for my in-store pickup order I'm sure y'all can already see the first thing yes I got another barefoot dreams blanket so if you watched my Nordstrom sale vlog from last year you saw that I was so excited that they had a blanket in store did I need another one no I did not but I saw this color and I thought it was gonna be more pink than it is but it is still really cute and it matches Daisy's sweater so it is more purple and I'm just gonna tell you right here right now if they do come out with a true pink one I am gonna get it but I had to have this one because it was so pretty and this is they are a little ridiculous for a blanket but I will say I have never seen them. I don't think I've seen them lower priced than what they are during the sale. So if you have been wanting to splurge on a Barefoot Dreams blanket, I would do it when you're able to shop the sale. They are $119. Yes, they are $119.90, but they are normally $180. Yes, $180 is ridiculous for a blanket. Even $119, but... They seriously are so dang soft and I love the leopard print and I think they're worth it but I don't know I have a problem so I got another one and I will get another one if they come out with a pink one but if you're wanting to splurge the anniversary sale is the time to do it and then the last thing I have to show y'all is probably what I was most excited about because I have been wanting these for a long time and I knew I had to get them since they were on sale. More leopard. I think it is too bright. So I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see them. So I'll insert a picture here of what they look like. But I am obsessed. So they are Adidas. And let me see. Okay, so they are on sale for $56.90. And they're normally $85. So I'm glad I waited to get them because that is a really good deal and I am just so upset. So there are several things that are really good deals, but honestly, a lot of these things, even shoes will probably go on sale even cheaper or the same price later on, like into the fall. But I will say, if you have been wanting a pair of the Spanx leather leggings, Definitely go ahead and get those when you can shop the sale because they are $64, normally $98, and I have not seen them cheaper than $64 during the sale. So definitely grab those. So overall, I wasn't really impressed with the sale this year, but I have a shopping problem and I love going to Nashville. Plus, I had a really fun day with Tabitha, so I had a good time and I hope it wasn't too boring since I forgot to vlog. But hopefully you enjoyed seeing everything I bought at the sale this year. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching. And I'll see you on my next video.